hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to package a growler of beer so that you can check it through as luggage on a commercial airline flight in the U.S. This is based off of my personal experience. I've been very successful using this method. If you have any questions about security requirements, what is permitted, what is not permitted on an airliner, at the airport, etc., please proceed to the website that's going to be displayed here in a moment for you and they should be able to answer all your questions. What will you need? The first thing you're going to need is your growler. You can see I've got one here from our favorite microbrewery, The Livery, in Benton Harbor, Michigan. You can visit them at liverybrew.com to find all about delivery and uh, what's going on there. Anyway, this is a half gallon growler, glass, metal cap. Important thing about the cap is it's got a rubberized seal area there. If your cap has a paper seal or has no seal at all, recommend you replace it with one that has a rubber seal. Next thing we're going to need is our cooler, which is, this is just a plastic Rubbermaid cooler, and I've got a part number for that cooler. It's 2A21, it's 2Alpha21. Purchase it for less than $10 at a local superstore. Approximate dimensions inside on this thing are, it's 11 inches wide, 7 inches across, and about 7 inches deep. Next, we've got a couple of old rags. We're going to use those for absorbent material inside the cooler. I've got a blue ice pack. You can also use regular ice if you do that. Make sure that you put the ice in a Ziploc bag and then put that bag in another bag so that you, have, you can catch the leakage when the ice melts. I've got some standard packing tape and a Sharpie marker. Okay, how to proceed. First thing you want to do is make sure that your cap is secure. Don't leave this up to anybody else. Tighten the cap down, make sure it's as tight as you can reasonably get it. Take either electrical tape, packing tape, duct tape will work. Tape the lid to the body of the growler and, and you're done with that. Next you want to get your cooler. Place one layer of absorbent material inside the cooler. Gently lay your growler inside the cooler. You can see that the fit on this is almost perfect. Once the growler's inside, recommend that you take a couple pieces of packing tape, one long ways and maybe two across to help secure the growler inside the cooler. Do not get crazy with the tape. The inspectors may have to remove the growler from the cooler to do their inspections and if it's inside a cocoon of tape, that will probably irritate them. It may not get restored the way you want it. Okay, so we've got our growler in. It's taped. Next thing I do is lay your blue ice or your ice packs in on that. And then finally you want to top it off with another layer of absorbent material. Again, this top layer is in case the cooler ends up upside down in the airplane hold, you get a chance of catching any leakage that might come out. Close the lid. I recommend that you take your Sharpie, write your name and address on the cooler outside. Okay, our cooler lid is closed. Next, we're going to tape up the outside of the cooler. Take your packing tape. I recommend you make a couple complete bands around the outside of the cooler. When you tape off those tape bands, be sure to leave a courtesy tab on the end of the tape. That will make it easier for the inspector to untape, do his inspection, and retape your cooler. You, again, you do not want to encase the cooler in tape. That's going to make it difficult for them, the inspectors, to do their job and ultimately it might uh, cause you some problems with your beer making it safely to the other end. Good luck and cheers!